Oh, I'm with my lovebirds right here. <laughs> Gary, what was the moment that you knew Teresa was the one? Mm -hmm. Oh, there was a clear moment when it happened. It was behind closed mm -hmm. doors in the fantasy suites. Mm -hmm. We'd had some conversations that led from mm -hmm. one step to another to another. I had some question marks that she addressed before I was even able to ask the questions. So she fully had my attention. And we were talking about mm -hmm. the more important things, the things that mm -hmm. nobody needed to be in on except for us. And man, it was clear. I knew exactly. Mm -hmm. And and watching it back, even the dinner before the fantasy suite, I watched and I texted yes, you. Yes, right. Yeah. And I said, yeah. I'm watching myself fall in love with you yeah. right now yeah. at that dinner. I thought it was the moment when you talked about your career, because you're meeting all of these women mm -hmm. at once with all their stuff, but what she did with her life, with that pivot, mm -hmm. and to really take over. I just thought you started seeing her in a whole different light, in a future, and... I, I did, but it wasn't just that topic. Mm -hmm. It was that she that let herself. her guard down. She became mm -hmm. vulnerable. She mm -hmm. was showing herself. I, I mean, she's yeah, made no, the comment that, yeah, right. say I've it. Made, yeah, I had a really difficult time being myself on camera. I just couldn't relax, and then... So it wasn't until that moment that I said, Teresa, just be yourself. And then when he said, you know, he knew that I, what career I had. He said, I just want to hear more about it. I said, yeah, you should ask me that. Ask me that question, yes. And I just, that was the moment that I started really being myself. I was just very self-conscious about all the men in my life, that I didn't want to, you know, say the wrong thing. I've got six grandsons. I love I've that. I've got a, a, a brother. I've got a son, a son-in-law. So I was kind of censoring myself a lot. And then, and then I really left it the chance to go into the fantasy suite so I could continue that conversation. And mm -hmm. I, he finally saw who I was, I think. I think that's what It happened. was a great moment. Yeah. I loved it. The big, I, yeah. Excitedly, I said to her, I love you, I love you, I love you, and I'm mm -hmm. going to ask you to marry me. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to say yes, but I'm oh. going to ask. Mm -hmm. And it was like a total excitement moment. The proposal. Gary, did you say the wrong thing? I'm trying to look back. As I'm watching it, I was oh, like, yeah, right. I think it's Teresa. Because what, yeah. what did you say yeah. and what did you mean to say? I, I was like, please tell me he's going to double back and come back I, around with I, it. I kind of said it wrong. <laughs> so I, the, the line was supposed to be, you're not the person that I can live with. Mm -hmm. I said, you're not the person for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, oh, somebody take me away. Oh, like, my your face, off. Teresa. Yeah. I said, oh, my gosh. It was awful. He's not, that's and, it. <laughs> and so I try to recoup quickly. And the pause on the show is longer than the actual pause oh my, oh. because I quickly said, you're the person I can't I live know. without. I don't know. It felt like Because I thought long. she was going to faint. I, I, I thought I was going to faint. <laughs> I was about to faint. I really was. And I, really, I was slinking away. You could, I don't know that you could yeah. see that. Oh, but I yeah. could see it. Yeah. yeah. What people don't realize, <clears throat> too, is you were normal people all of a sudden mm -hmm. thrust with the cameras and the spotlight. Yeah. The pressure you were all under, mm -hmm. I've been there, is something you don't know until you're in it. So I thought you did great. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. What was it like watching the season back? Oh, okay, so I watched every single episode with my daughter, her husband, my three grandsons. It, it was horrifying at times. <laughs> well, even just seeing myself, I couldn't take it. I said, can't they see I look ugly there? Oh my, and I'd go, oh, that orange lipstick. Oh, my God, this is horrible. So I would watch it with them, and then I would watch it again myself all alone and say, hey, don't be so harsh on yourself. Let's really see what's happening. But he, we had discussed all of the inter interactions he had with other women, even when he discussed it, you know, like, Logically, you can say, accept it, but when you actually see it, you know, it affects you. But I was extremely open-minded the entire time. After I had our date, I wanted to st step back and allow him time to fully explore this experience with every other woman, and he had to commit, you know, 100%, 1,000% to every other relationship. So I was happy when they had dates. She deserves a compliment mm. here. She's probably the most unselfish. Mm. Wow non-jealous person I've ever met in my life. Mm. So when we had conversations that I thought were going to be very sensitive mm. and, and perhaps hurtful, she was open and she was optimistic mm. about it. And I, it was so refreshing. I find that so sexy. Oh, I thank you. That you know who you are. <laughs> That's and exactly what, what it is. Was yeah. it hard watching Leslie in the fantasy suite with him to oh. watch that moment back? I haven't watched it. I don't. I I will watch it. I haven't seen that yet. Oh, from the season. Before. From the season. Oh, oh yeah, for the season when the fantasy suite dates. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, 
yeah, that that was that was okay. It was difficult, but you know, it, it's still it was part of the process, and I understood it. And just said that he had to do that, and you know, so it must have been difficult for her to watch me as well. And you know, it's it's an extremely unnatural situation you're put in, and so. And it's, it's, it takes a very special person to realize, wow, just allow this person to explore it with other women. That doesn't happen in real no. life. It doesn't. So, mm -hmm. so difficult, but I was able to keep that open mind and allow that to happen. I didn't want ever to force myself onto this man. Not at all. It had to be freely and without hesitation that it was me. And, I, and that's true. Like, if it wasn't going to be me, it wasn't going to be me. And that's you the way said it was. That. If you're yeah. not a thousand percent, yeah. love this journey, like, yeah. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, and allow it that's to happen so the way it's supposed to happen. That's so good. Mm -hmm. Well, these shows, yeah. again, it's not natural. It makes for great TV, yeah. but hard to watch. Last night, Gary, oh my goodness, take me inside what was going on. You're live on TV. Leslie confronts you, and she has a lot of emotions. She does, and, and she deserves every one of those emotions. I mean, she was in the same process, in the same boiler that I was. Mm -hmm. And so when she had to go home and all that hurt was there, and she didn't have a release for that, I was there to really accept anything she had to say. Because my goal was for her to feel better when she left than when she arrived. And, uh, you know, there's all the apologies in the world don't really help her at that moment. Mm -hmm. What does help her is for her to get it, some of it off of her chest. Mm -hmm. Does any part of you wish, if you could go back, that maybe you wouldn't have said, I love you, or had that moment, the fantasy, fantasy suite, which again, the show sets up for you. You know, it's not a normal situation. I, I don't have regrets there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had those emotions and those feelings in that moment. And, um, you know, I've said to Teresa, um, I believed that I was in love with these women until I knew I wasn't. Mm -hmm. And the moment I knew mm -hmm. I wasn't, it was 1,000% clear for me. Mm -hmm. So I really can't say I have regrets. Mm -hmm. um, it's just part of the process that you have to go through. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about the wedding. Oh, that okay. was so fun to hear. Mm -hmm. First of all, I love the ring. I love oh, the wedding. <laughs> I love the honeymoon. What yeah. are we thinking with style, vibe? Oh, so, you know, I'm so lucky that I have my daughter who really, you know, she's fully into it. She's already created a vision board. Um, so, you know, the style, I think the, I'm looking for elegant for the wedding gown, but maybe a little bit of glamour, maybe a long train. I don't know. We'll, we're going to go shopping. We haven't, we haven't done that yet. Uh, lots of flowers, lots of greenery, good food, heart. Like, we want really special moments. We want it to be about family and love and laughter, and that's the most important it's part so for us. It's so inspiring. Yeah. And all I can yeah. think is, what would Tony and Billy think about this? Oh, my gosh. They would be happy. Mm. Yeah. They would be happy for us. Mm -hmm. um, we were each so committed to our, our first marriages that there's no way that our, our former partners mm -hmm. wouldn't be thrilled for us yeah. in this. We always wanted each other to be happy. Yeah. Well, with the spotlight for both of you, you are the golden couple. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be things mm -hmm. that come out. Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> Holly Re Reporter came out with this article, Gary, and I want to give you a chance to respond, kind of coming after your character, mm -hmm. which parts are not true, and why do you think Carolyn is coming forward now? Well, you know, the, the timing is, is a bit suspect, but the reality is I, I haven't really given that a whole lot of thought. I know what the truth is. Teresa knows what the truth is. Mm -hmm. We're more interested in the right now and the here and all the positives and the fun things we have to do now than looking back on some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, really, uh, it doesn't deserve any more attention than that. Um, who do we think should be the next Bachelorette? Oh my gosh, don't ask. Come on. <laughs> ask. I, just got, oh I think it's got to be Leslie. Let's, uh, let's give uh, it to okay. Leslie. I mean, Leslie let's would be phenomenal. A great Absolutely. choice. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, as would Faith. As Faith would be Susan, great as too. As would Ellen. As would Joan. I mean, Joan. Oh as my gosh, there's so on many. On and on. So, many so you you could look at every single woman, and they could carry the show. So it would be a different thing with every woman. But yes, of course, Leslie would be amazing. So, you know, I, I you know, they're not asking us. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank goodness, because we way smarter we than us. could not we could not make this decision. Uh -uh. We love these women too much. Yeah. So, yeah.